everyone, it's Melanie from Living Luxuriously for Less, and today I have something so exciting to share with you. We are going to do my very first Get Ready With Me Target style, and I'm going to show you guys uh, the outfit that I put together for $20, and I'm going to show you how I apply my makeup and go about my entire process of getting dressed. So let me know what you think about it. Stay tuned. I like to start off by moisturizing my face with Johnson & Johnson Baby Lotion. It is very gentle on my skin and I have used it for years. So this next step is optional for me. I don't always apply concealer, but I had an event the night before and I had dark circles under my eyes, so I did apply it. I use MAC as my foundation, the Studio Fix as my foundation or my powder. I am using the sponge in this. Now I do know that the brush makes your makeup goes on go on a lot smoother, but I um, had every type of MAC brush and eyeshadow years ago and I lost it on a plane. It was worth hundreds, maybe even thousands of dollars and I just never had the heart to invest in it again so the sponge works just fine for me. Next up I'm going to apply this highlighter by Wet n Wild and it's actually a Fergie brand. I actually love it. It looks great on women of color. I love highlighters on the skin especially in the summertime. It makes you look really sun-kissed and it just brightens your face. I picked up this eyeliner at a local beauty supply store. I love it because it's really soft and it's thick and a lot of times when I'm trying to line my eyes I'm constantly poking myself so that works for me and you guys one time I left my eyebrow brush at home and I went downstairs at a hotel and got a toothbrush it worked great and I've been using it every since so here's what my eyebrows look like before and after I pencil them in and I just kind of brush them on in uh, brush in the pencil as I go and I picked up that pencil as well at a local beauty supply store but you can find them at the Dollar Tree and they're called dark brown I don't really use a lot of the you can do it with eyeshadow but the pencil is a lot simpler to me for this particular routine it only takes me about five to seven minutes to do my face in the morning if that okay so now we have that on, I'm going to apply the CoverGirl mascara to my top eyelashes. I don't do the bottom because my eyelashes are so curly. I have such a problem getting them done whenever I get fake um, eyelashes on. So let's move on to the second step. Next up, I like to apply my blush. Now, I actually ran up on this blush at the Dollar Tree. The name has faded off of it, but I believe it was in LA color, and it looked sort of um, maroonish in the package, but when you put it on, it was such a really pretty natural color for your cheekbone. For my lips, I lined them using a MAC pencil. I use two different ones, and it's chestnut and currant. And I do my outer portion of my lip in chestnut. And then I like to do the inner portion of my lip with the current because of the type of lipstick that I'm using. Now for every day, I typically just use the chestnut, which is a brown. And then um, I apply this it was a limited edition MAC lipstick. I'm not sure the name of it, but I will link it in the description box below. And I picked up this um, lip gloss at the Dollar Tree as well. It was an LA color and it's in a coral color. And I am going to line my lips to kind of create an ombre effect on my lips using this gloss and I absolutely love the way that turned out so I'm going to touch up now my makeup to make sure it's not looking too overdone and it works out great now that the makeup is done it is time to move on to the hair now I am wearing my natural hair I don't have it perm but I do have a protein treatment and I absolutely love the way that it makes my hair feel and it is extremely manageable and very easy to do now I like to use this double-sided brush from Sally's to brush down my edges and to also wrap my hair at night 
And again, the styling is extremely simple, extremely easy, and it normally takes me just a couple of minutes in the morning to comb my hair. Next up, I'm going to show you guys my Target finds. So let's talk about the jumpsuit. I got this jumpsuit in the children's department for 70% off. It's by Cherokee. The original price was $20 and I got it for $5.98 and I purchased it in an extra large. Next up were the accessories. The earrings with the cute navy blue tassels were $2.98 and the bracelet, the matching gold and green and navy blue tassel bracelet was $5.08. Okay, so I am almost dressed. I wanted to show you guys how I buttoned the top because it can be a little bit tight because it was um, cut for a child. So be sure to keep that in mind if you're shopping in their department. I paired the jumpsuit with a thin gold belt to match the accessories. And I also have these Paris Hilton shoes. I got them years ago at shoe department and people always mistake them for red bottoms, but they're actually pink bottoms. I'm going to touch my hair up a little bit more and I am all dressed. Well, I am almost dressed. A wise woman told me that you are never fully dressed without perfume. So I am applying Versace Yellow Gold. It smell, smells absolutely divine. And I'm accessorizing this outfit with a leather clutch. It's genuine leather. Really special to me because my mom bought it for me years ago. And she was so excited that I loved it. I almost forgot my wedding rings, you guys. Oh my goodness, I'm headed to church. We have a casual Sunday and we don't need the pastor's wife showing up without her wedding ring so there is my complete look i hope you guys enjoyed it so my total for this look was twenty dollars and two cents which was not too shabby so I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed putting it together for you. If you like this video, please leave a comment down below letting me know if you want me to continue to do these. And until next time, it's Melanie with Living Luxuriously for Less. Bye-bye.